as you have already downloaded AI powered social media content generator and publisher. And up to this step, it is fine because you will be connecting with the uh, Google Gemini or even you can use open AI chat model also so that this AI agent will generate the post. Of course, getting the API key for Google Gemini was simple. I will show you step by step for everything that you can use. So I will be going to aistudio.google.com to connect to the Gemini. You can simply click here to get the API key. Or you will simply log into your account and you can see on top right, you can see get the API key. Uh, you will see all your previous API keys here. And in order to get the new API key, you will simply click on create API key. So you can then come back here, double click the Google Gemini. And if you just add the API key, you can simply you'll paste the API key, save the changes and that's it. The API key will be available and then you can choose the uh, model. So I can go with experimental. And then if you go down here, you can see X account, LinkedIn account, Facebook account and Instagram account. For the X account, you have to provide the client API and client secret. So for X, you will go to developer.twitter.com or developer.x.com. So you will be logging into your developer portal. Register for your developer account, which is available for free. You will go to your developer portal and you will look for the projects and apps. And here you can see this is default project. And here down, you can see the apps and credentials. So I will just simply click here keys and here you can see the API key and you can use the auth authentication also you can see here it shows me the client id and client secret just reveal the secret or regenerate the secret copy the client id copy the client secret and come back here to your credentials for x.com and add that client id and client secret that's it for x.com this will be the way to add and then for LinkedIn also, there is a way to do that if in case you want to use it through the API, developer.linkedin.com. And you can click on create app, just give it a name, give a LinkedIn page, privacy URL and so on. Just create the app and then you can create the API credentials. So here is my app. In fact, you can see here, once this app is created, you can see here auth. Here you can see client ID, client secret, and so on. All of this is there. And then you can go to developers.facebook.com. You can create the graph API here. So I will go to my apps. You can see all apps here and you can create the app here. You will simply create the app. And once you create the app, you can um, change the mode from the development to live. And you will get all the app related settings here. So you can see here app role, you can give this access, this app, the access to your pages and your profiles, anyone on Instagram also. And also you can see here, these are all things like Messenger, Instagram, Marketing API, many things are there, of course. It's, it will not be possible for me to cover every aspect, but you can see here that you can see Facebook login for business and here is webhooks and here is also API setup for your WhatsApp. So in case you want to have WhatsApp API, WhatsApp API is available here. You can have the test phone number here. You can generate the credentials here. You can generate the access token. This access token will be available and then you can use this access token. Similarly, if you go here to webhooks, the callback URL and verified token. So this is one aspect. Of course, you can go to app setting here. So you can see here, you can configure here various aspects. This is the business account, which is verified. And then you can see here advanced options. Then is tools. In tools, you will go to graph API. So once you have configured all these aspects and your app is live, then you can go to graph API explorer and access token debugger. I can copy this access token. I can go to tools. I can go to access token debugger and just paste the access token debugger here and debug. It shows me its duration and so on. So I can just ex extend the access token duration. I can just validate my account again. Uh, so everything is available in Graph API. I will highly recommend you to you read the documentation. So if you go to developer tools, so everything is available in developer tools. 
here is access token here is api uh, upgrade tool and access token debugger and graph api explorer you can click on this whether it is for user to open whether it is for the page access and so on so make sure to choose the proper uh, page here and then add the permissions so you can click here add permissions so you can add multiple permissions so what this app can do what this api can do so there is a detailed documentation of course i will not uh, explain you in detail you have to go to developer support or you have to go to api uh, documentation or meta api documentation and you have to learn what extensions you can use so you can see in meta developer documentation meta api sdk and so on so there is a lot of information available for the login for the uh development video api stories api threads api uh, facebook pages api you can see here social integration facebook pages api so all the information is available here so it has told you what methods you can use how to manage the page how to do the page search and even uh, for the post also so you can manage the post and comments and here it shows you uh, what extensions you have to use you can uh, but in any then of course you have the specific method of doing this which i have already explained you for example if you go to have facebook publish post so you will if, if uh, in this particular automation i have mentioned that you have to use the post method and the node will be of course this is my page id and you can mention the message so image will be there message will be there and from where this message will come link will be published and from where this link will come so of course it will come from previous nodes but this is where you will be adding the message and link these are the query parameters so this edge is also available photos videos post types here so if you go to page post types so you will have all the details here so publish media post if you are doing the photo so it will be url of the photo and photos will be what has been mentioned here in photos you can see here this is the photos and i took it from example request actually so you have to use this for the video you have to do feed for other aspects you can see here all the details here you can read the documentation you will simply come back here to graph api simply choose your credentials and and enter the access token over here similarly so you can go to instagram and use the access token over here so here is the now upload i'm uploading this image to imgbb so you can go to api.imgbb.com so you can create your api here and it will upload the image to this particular account and then you can download let us continue the next video and understand what else we can do in any time